Hello and welcome. This is your Funky Honky. Let's play Jade Empire Special Edition, Episode 107. In this one, we're going to go back into the Lotus Assassin Fortress and set things in motion that cannot be stopped. Loyalty and obedience. Pfft. Sounds like weakness to me. They know nothing of strength and power. I will just teach them. It will be a lesson that they won't soon forget. Go fast! Alright! What the? What the? You ready? What is going on here? Where are my slaves? The golems require spirit shards. And where are my attendants? Delays and laziness will be repaid in blood. No one disobeys the orders of Shen. Oh. Your orders are worthless. No one is here to receive them. You? You are Gang's new acolyte. I see what is happening here. You think to promote your master by threatening me. Not really. You are bold, but foolish. I do nothing foolish. You thought to make me vulnerable by killing my attendants and emptying the hall? A miscalculation. I am a favorite of Grand Inquisitor Gia. You will die. Will I now? You're so beyond my contempt, I'm just gonna shoot. Let's back up for three to two. Blam. Kerblam. Oh, you're too weak to fight this on your own. You're gonna call in some golem buddies, huh? Well fine, I guess I'll have to take care of them first. Oh, that was easy. You ready? I think I'll have your head. Oh, you shocked me. Too bad that doesn't do anything. I don't know. Like I said before, I don't know if it's a glitch or what. Oh, I didn't decapitate him. Oh, well. Let's take him to the press! And... What an inglorious way to die. Such a shame. A terrible tragedy has reached my ears. Our respected Master Shin has met his end in a rather embarrassing fashion. Yep. I came quickly after hearing of his stumble. Perhaps it was the cold of the sanctum that made him careless and dulled his senses. I think he fell down in flight punches. Open the press. Unfortunate. I will make certain he's dead, but not from too close. I don't want to share his tragically foolish fate. Oh. Yes, quite dead. How unfortunate. Boy, you're really good at faking sincerity. You should honor our fallen comrade, but I am distracted by thoughts of who will take his place. I think the choice is obvious. As do I. Alrighty. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Go! Splat! Ah, two masters with one trap. I rule. Alright, let's go deliver the spirit shard. Wait, what? Oh, you again, Zoo? What now? You are nearing your goal. Grand Inquisitor Gia keeps many secrets in the inner chambers. Enough to appease the princess and earn your way to the palace. But you may learn more than she wants to know. I know that I did. Many years ago. If you have something to say, Zhu, now is the time. You know that Master Li tried to stop his brother and failed. Yes. I was not there to witness that, so I only have the details that you are aware of yourself. Hui in Tian's Landing told you that in response to that act, Master Li's wife was condemned to death. She was with child at the time. This I know for certain. I was there. I was one of the elite ordered to kill Master Li's family. Oh. What? I knew you had a troubled past, that you were asked to do horrible things, but this is beyond anything I imagined. You take credit, but there's no way for me to verify this. Death's hand brought the order to kill the family. 
We were cowards if we could not see the wisdom of his order. It was the will of the Emperor. I could not question the orders. They could not be wrong. The soldier always blames his commander. Dirge was burning. Your master had fled, and we stood over a woman who had just given birth. I hesitated, and she was killed. For years I wondered what kind of creature could issue such an order, and what I was for following it. It was easier to be a coward than to question the Empire. Now I understand, and I hope I have shown you as well. They broke a sacred trust. I have returned because of that, even though I know what Death's Hand is. My fate is sealed, but one secret must live on. I killed them all, my fellow assassins. I would not let them finish their mission. Master Lee's child still lives. Dun dun dun! Wow. Any guesses, folks? I got a present for you there, dude. You there! You are Master Gong's new Lotus Acolyte, correct? Master Gong has kept Grand Inquisitor Gia waiting for too long. Where is he? Master Gang and Master Shin have resolved their differences poorly. Fools! They had more important things to do than worry about their personal stations. My station is at risk if Gia does not get her Jade Golem. You were Gong's acolyte? You deal with this and get me the spirit shard I require. Since your master is dead, you may present it in the ritual. I have the spirit shard now. Bring it to the doors of the inner chamber. Finish whatever business you have in this place. Grand Inquisitor Gia may alter your duties. Alright. And I'm going to end it here because this is a long scene coming up. This has been your Funky Honky with a Let's Play Jade Empire Special Edition. Stay tuned for episode 108 where we will go into the Inner Sanctum. Woo! This has been your Funky Honky and I hope that you will see me next time.